So for today, we're going to be looking at the Descending Echo Armor set for the Titans. It's pretty cool with like one of them being the best one for for the whole set and then i think the rest are like either usable or just pretty bad with one just being terrible uh titans let me know what you guys think about your armor set but if you guys like the video like comment subscribe really does help the channel grow and i thank you for doing so but other than that let's just get right into the video so this is the descending echo armor set it is pretty pretty good in my opinion i was gonna say terrible uh, the only terrible thing in my opinion is the actual helmet itself I think the helmet is actually terrible like it's actual doo-doo butter so i don't i don't want to be toxic about it but like it just looks terrible like there's really no way to me for me to say it nicely it just looks absolutely terrible uh a few things that i do appreciate i appreciate that the helmet itself is actually symmetrical uh, aside from the eyes here if the eyes were like even if the eyes were symmetrical i think it's just the the shape of the helmet i think it's so much like i just don't see anyone really utilizing this and if you do make this look cool let me know on, on my instagram yeah let me know through my instagram or twitter that i want to see people actually use this and make it look cool because i don't think it's actually possible uh for the gauntlets i actually think this is a little bit more usable uh but at the same time, it's going to be rough, not going to lie. It's going to be rough to use these just because of how uh, uneven they are because they're not symmetrical, obviously. But some people don't really care about that. I actually do care about that. So for me, it'll be a little bit problematic. Chess piece, however, I think is very usable. Uh, specifically, if you're using uh, the Dune Marchers with the Hive ornament on it, which I will show you guys right now. I think with that, it looks very cool. So this one uh, has a lot of potential as well. You don't have to use that ornament as well. You can use pretty much anything else. Uh, you just have to use something that has like an organic bone look, which I don't think Titans have a lot of. The boots are probably the best looking one out like so far, in my opinion. It looks super cool. And I can see a lot of Titans using this for armor or for like a knightly look, which is what I'm gonna be doing at the end of the video. Last but not least, I think the mark is okay. I definitely do not like marks that have only one side drapes uh, because I don't like the unevenness of it. I do definitely like ones that are even, like for example, this one's like one of my favorites because of the evenness of it. Um, again, something like this is also cool because there's, it's not e it's not symmetrical, but it has something to like counteract the unevenness. So. If it had something right here, like a little, maybe like bone here or something, it would have been cool. Uh, Cause this is a little too small for me. So that's pretty much it. As for shaders, this armor takes shaders pretty well. Unfortunately, like you guys have been noticing, it just doesn't take glows well. It takes shaders really well. It just doesn't take glows well. And what I mean by that is specifically this right here. As you guys can see, there's a lot of blue or there's a lot of green spots here and in the back as well. Not a lot, actually not at all for the mark or the boots, which is a positive or a negative, depending on how you feel about it. For me personally, I think it's a positive because as much as I like glowing bits, the uh, the organic look of it will definitely not feel good with like certain pieces. So depending on what you're going for, it might look good and it might look terrible. Like this actually looks pretty cool, not because it doesn't give a glow, but gives it like a chrome look. Uh, we'll just, I'll just show you some of my favorites. This is Rose Scale, this is from this season, which is pretty cool, or yeah, this is from this season. It's one of my favorite red uh, shaders so far. Let's go back a little. Um, Obsidian Gold, that's a classic that everyone uses. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, when it shows it's gray, I'm much more of a fan when it shows it's black because it's black is really dark. But uh, Cryptic, the Cryptic Insignia, this is one of my favorite shaders as well. It's from Deepstone Crypt and it looks pretty cool with this. Again, unfortunately, it doesn't have a, a glow, but we'll probably just go through some of the shaders that I crutch on. So Carminic is another great example. And this is actually pretty cool. Carminica is definitely looking pretty good. Unfortunately, I am noticing that the pants and the boots 
on some shaders share the same color which is a little problematic this actually looks pretty pretty fire Ooh, i did not expect this to be this color i expected the orange to actually be like either here or in the stomach or right here that's pretty cool uh valkyrie zero this one is from season of the worthy and i don't think this one's available anymore uh carminica is from season of the arrival i don't think that's uh available either so this one this one is surprised me a little gambit jade so this is from season of dawn if I'm, yeah season of dawn unfortunately unavailable as well but this one surprised me because i was ex fully expecting the glow to actually pop out a lot more like the whole thing not the outline that's another problem with this armor set that you'll notice is the fact that uh some some shaders you'll just see the, you'll just see the outline of the glow which for a few people that might piss them off i don't really care because considering i might not use any of these pieces it's mostly going to be the the boots if i'm being quite honest um this looks pretty cool this is from season of the undying also season from the undying this one this one looks really cool yeah i'm very excited very excited to use the boots for this amethyst veil this is from eververse if i remember correctly from season of the menagerie one of my favorite seasons and this one looks really cool again you guys can see the rings of color right there which again might annoy people i personally don't really care because i'm not going to be using this this is from iron banner from season of the menagerie as well and this looks very shiny <laughs> very shiny and let's go to one of my favorite shaders in the game which is sato tribe this is definitely one of my favorite shaders i i use this shader so much and it looks really cool it looks so good Unfortunately, the changing color on these two is kind of annoying, but whatever. And for the other shaders, we have we have dreaming spectrum which is a really good shader to, to pair with this because it gives it that bone feel if you have other armor sets that have similar looking armor sets that have like an organic look this is definitely going to be a shader you're going to want to combine it with um as for i think that's pretty much it for shaders aside from ooh, iron to steel definitely one of my favorite shaders as well this one is from oh that's not even a season that's a dlc war mind and that was from Iron Banner or mine. The one, the bone color that this one, Dreaming Spectrum, this is obviously from the Last Wish raid. But the Iron to Steel looks really, 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 really cool. I'm really excited to use this one. Uh, Precursor of X Chrome, this was from the Eververse. Definitely looks super cool. Not a lot of gold, but the white is really good. So, unfortunately, like I said, uh, a lot. There's not a lot of glow to this armor set, if any. It's only on specific, sh uh, only on specific shaders that you'll see that glow. So Nebula Rose is from Eververse as well. Callus Selected and Callus Treasured are both from the Leviathan raid, which is kind of like one of my favorite raids. If I'm not, gonna, if I'm not lying to you guys. So as for the actual armor set that I'm, I usually do at the end of the video we it might be this to be honest it doesn't look terrible definitely fits the organic yeah you know what it's gonna be this one this one and uh i'm just gonna buy this because i know i'm gonna use it a lot because i actually do like this one so the jensen knight and that's it this is this is the look i have for you guys i think it looks really cool i think the only thing and I don't like is the fact that there's color in that. So let's do this snow. No, the opposite. Ooh, there we go. 
So that's it guys uh titans let me know what you guys think i think it looks really cool this is like just off the fly something that i i usually do or i'm trying to do from now on is at least make an armor set i was going for the irreg irreg irregularities that this armor has so that's why i'm using the dragonfly regalia uh, that's why i'm using the i can't even say that name but that plate right there this one and as for the helmet, you could you could go for an irregular look. I think the black abyss just looks better, but you could do other things like maybe something like the, oh god, that's bright as shit. Something like this maybe, or the helmet itself is also not terrible. It's just I hate the back thing here. This looks terrible. Um, I would probably switch out the arms for something else though. Like this is where it gets really hard, but. If, you're, if you don't care about irregularities, this would be really cool as well. Like, this actually looks fucking dope. So, Titans, let me know what you guys think. I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, next one's going to be Warlocks. Warlocks, I am excited to do that one as well because y'all got really good pieces. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't think you guys have a single terrible one. So, Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help me. And it makes me feel happy. And I will see you guys later.